Welcome to the question and answer program with our Bible teacher, Dr. J. Vernon McGee. We hope that you'll be able to pull up a chair with your Bible in hand and join Dr. McGee as he answers the questions of his many listeners. This program is a ministry of the Through the Bible Radio Network. We begin today's questions with a listener who has some very difficult choices to make. She writes, Should my husband and I continue to work in and pray for a church when we believe that the pastor is not saved? We've claimed that God is greater than Satan's influence in the church. Should we go to a more spiritual church and let Satan have this place and its pastor? Several of us are struggling with this and have been for quite some time. God has answered many of our prayers for growth and new spirit-filled members. Do you have an answer for us? And I do not have an answer for you. I can only tell you what I think the Scripture teaches. And I believe that the important thing is, first of all, if there's any chance of you winning that pastor, you have any hope, of doing that, and if you still have influence in the church, then probably you ought to be a missionary to the church. But may I say to you, it seems rather hard to walk out and leave a situation like that where you probably have some influence, maybe a great influence. And as long as you have influence, and long as you feel like you can serve God, even in that place, why well, stay there? You must remember that Paul began his ministry in every place by going to the synagogue. Now, who would suggest that today, that you go to the synagogue in order to bring the gospel? I don't think they would have it to begin with, but that wouldn't quite be the place. But Paul went there in his day, and he had that kind of a background, He'd been brought up, and he was an Israelite. So you see a great many things condition your action or your conduct in this connection. I would say if you have any influence, remain. If you feel like that you do not have any or not making any headway at all, I think I would look up a good Bible church. Now, there's another side to this. Are you being spiritually starved to the extent that it is hindering and hurting you in your spiritual life? Remember that all of us are very fallible, and we need to be nurtured in the Word of God and the things of God. And therefore, we need to get to a place where we can hear the Word of God. Now, when I was pastor of the Church of the Open Door in downtown Los Angeles, we had what was considered for 21 years, the largest midweek service in this country. We average 1,500 people every Thursday night. Somebody's going to say, my, the members of that church must have really attended. No, they didn't. I would say that out of the 1,500, 500 of them were members of the church. The other 1,000 were not members, but visitors. And among those visitors... And some of them visited for 15 years. I know that. And they were members of churches that had more or less departed from the faith. So they came down Thursday night for their spiritual nourishment. But they stayed in their church to try to witness. I know one man that witnessed in a Presbyterian church, and he prevailed, by the way. And they got a Bible-believing pastor, believe it or not. And so there are many conditions, and there are many alternatives for you, too. But I think you ought to be very prayerful and keep praying for the church and the pastor, whether you remain or whether you leave. 